Good morning. It's bright and early, and I am up at it. Got the truck warming up. I'm getting ready to go to Mena, Arkansas, to pick up some more some metal for the roof. I'm gonna hit Walmart, get my canned dog food that I need, and I'm also gonna see what Walmart's finest light is to replace that one with. And then hopefully I'm back here probably around 10 o'clock, and we'll get started on the roof. Uh, as you can see, this paint's dried. To my eyes and what you see on video, it's it's more of a maroon color. It's a very, very, very dark red. Uh, I don't know if I have an example. Now that, let's see. That's got paint in it. Here. That is red. You know, your typical red you see. See, so it's a little darker. I like it. But you can't judge a book by its cover when I'm not done yet, folks. I know, it's bold, it's crazy. But when it's trimmed out, when I got my doodads and my antique mirrors and crap on the wall, you're gonna like it. I got a good mind for things like this. So we're gonna head to Mina. I'm gonna put you on time lapse all the way there. Might drive through a little bit and check it out. I'm definitely going to Walmart. For those who missed the many parts where I said those wires aren't going to be there, they're not going to be there. Some people suggested painting them, but they're not going to be there. They're all getting pulled out. The desk will be here. There's only going to be probably six inches of these out of the wall. That's it. You won't see them. And there'll be a monitor in front of them. So, but for now, my security system is way up here. So that is why I've got this. Just thought I'd answer that question in case people that missed it. So we're going to go get the metal right now. Pick up the things I need. There's a few spots I need to touch up on. Well, I see, yeah, there's some spots in here that have some white in it. Okay, let me address this. I've decided what to do. Not a daggum thing. I'm going to leave it set. It's very old water heater. It's a, a very old, yes, water heater. That's the proper word. So I'm not going to do anything, but I do have plans to build a floor to ceiling shelf. I'm going to do that now. That's going to be an expense that will open out. It'll be like a false wall. You know, you've seen them scary movies and I got the hidden wall. It'll be something. Well, that's something I'm thinking about doing. And then I got room for shelves in here, but I am not touching this. I'm not going to floor around it. I'm not going to drain it. I'm not going to do anything to it been good for eight years I'm gonna get more time out of it when this issue needs to be addressed with that I will address it but for now if it ain't broke don't fix it and I will probably just probably just floor to there or floor around it I'm not gonna put it on top of that flooring uh, my brother mentioned it might melt it I don't know if it will or not but he did have a point and don't move in it you know not move it we moved it when I first bought the place, and I ain't moving it again, so I'm the only one that lives here. I'm the only one that has to look at it, so it ain't bothering me. You know, I can, like people say, I can put a, well, I have one right here, and put the curtain rod thing up, I don't know where it went, and put a curtain on it, or just leave it like that. It ain't, I'm not going to break down into a cry, because that's there. I just ain't, it ain't going to bother me. All right, let's get on the road, man.
Galena, Arkansas. And the place I'm going to for the metal, I believe it's right up here on the left. Looked on Google, a subscriber told me about it, but they didn't really have a sign up, but I think I know where it is. Right next to a hardware store. But we will see. And if not, I'll get it at the hardware store. Now this town is a far cry from Waldron. As in, in just, you know, I don't know. It's not that huge. It ain't that much bigger. I believe that's the place there. I don't see a sign. Welding supplies. I don't know. Then we got this place here. Handy hardware. Ah, I'll find it. It's right here somewhere. All right, now I'm going to Walmart. We're going to take a short cruise through part of Mina. I do like the drive from my house to Mina. It's a whole lot better going to Fort Smith. There's never no traffic as usual. I think there's all almost like 4,000 people here. I might be wrong. A little more than that, maybe. Don't know. mobile home there's places you need a shed there's places there's two churches right next to each other wonder if they wonder if they fight I don't know I always wonder about that bug guys there's a bank you can put your money in the bank shop you pawn your pawn your husband's guitar go buy some beer well do that Walmart's right up here I think they got it yeah Ant Woods even got a car dealer that's something Waldron don't have anymore they used to Baskin Robbins and a Sonic. I don't know if the gas went up or it's more expensive down here. $2.99, man, it was $2.59 the other day. You never can count on the price of gas, but it's usually always going up. And here we are at the Wally World. Gotta run in and get some dog food, and I think I'm gonna buy a ceiling fan for that room. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see what they got. That would probably be best. If the price is right, that's probably what I'll get. Alright. I don't mess around with parking. Looking for a spot, I always go to the back. Because I ain't lazy. I like to walk. Even though I haven't been doing it on my videos. That's coming back. I'm still losing weight. That looks like a spot with my name on it right here. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. See you in a bit. All right, I'm getting my galvanized pieces cut. They had them cheaper than over. Got all kinds of metal here. All right, I'm home. Got my metal for my ceiling. This stuff doesn't have any kind of corrosion on it. It's good. That's where I'll be going from now on. Arkansas Metals. And then I get home and then we got Miss Telly, a.k.a. Tree Dog. Because she's by the tree. She's always by a tree. You know, she's famous. She's with the band Tree Dog Night. Ha, 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 you are. And then over there, on the other side of the mower, and I'm not going to show it, is Miss Millie, where she's been all night. Yep, she drug an entire cow leg over here. The whole leg. And she's been chewing on that all night. The dogs have been barking. Nobody can get near her, but I am going to get rid of that thing. Oh, the things dogs do. Whoops, sorry Libby, I didn't mean to show that. You going to help her chew on that cow leg? You guys better enjoy it, because i got to figure out what to do with it. Get rid of it. Uh. 
All right, picked up a ceiling fan, a little old cheapy. Look at that, got the same color as the flooring. Yeah, that room gets a little warm in the summer, so it's good to have a uh, look at that. Includes one LED bulb. Why, you can't beat, I didn't see that. That makes it all worth it. The 50 bucks I spent on that. Yeah, uh, we'll get that in here pretty soon. But today we're going to start putting up the ceiling. All right, I got to prep the ceiling here before I can put in the, on the metal. As you can see by building this box, I screwed myself out of screwing the metal to this. So I have to create, I already had that one in there, but I got to create something I, I can screw the metal to. Now it'll be a 26 inch piece. So it's going to come to about halfway there. That way I have to notch that piece and then I'll have something still to screw it to there. But all the other ones, we can just go right to the joist there. So I'm going to get these in here. Other way, other way. It's about 11 o'clock. I need to back up. I got behind every old man in an S10 and a Ford, Ran Ford Ranger. You guys have seen them. That's what they drive, man. And sometimes they'll have an old camper shell on them. Every one of them drive 20 miles an hour under the speed limit. Yep. Got to have them S10s. Get better gas mileage. Yep. I've had a few. They break down all the time. They're junk. Uh, if you got one, hey, some of you watching might have one. More power to you. Is my belly showing? I'm wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. Ain't going to dirty up anymore. All right, then we'll just toenail that dude in. It ain't going nowhere, no how. A little darker in here. All right, can I read? That's good enough. Good enough. All right. You guys are still there? Oh, well, if you've stayed this long, you might as well hang to the end. Because I'm going to try to finish this out. Going to try. It's about 11, so I got a good three hours of work. Shouldn't take me that long to get all this up here. Uh, well, who knows? Before I do that, though, I got to put some insulation in here. So I need to do that very next thing. I should have just popped that out until I got that in. Eh, I'll go up in there. We'll be all right. It's going to go up a little ways anyway. All right, let me get that going. Oh, almost busted my butt. All right, guys, I got the first piece cut. I didn't film it. Got dogs across the street going crazy, as usual. That's what happens when you have 30 dogs that are running wild. All right. I'm going to set this on top of this ladder. And these wires are already in my way. All right. I gotta be careful so I don't stretch scratch my walls. All right, let me get a screw ready. Get on up here. This is not gonna be easy. I'm gonna have to figure this out. The stuff ain't heavy. It's just awkward. Alright. Oh. Slip one in there, but no squares this side. Uh, right there. Oh, my drill's way down there. Uh, this is where a helper comes in. I ain't got one, so we're going to deal with it. Well, there's one screw. Screw 
Ah. Okay, let me try this again. Screw is ready. Dogs are barking. Screw is dropped. Uh, let's see. Clampage? Aha! Let's get some clamps. A man has to think. What? Y'all looking up there in the air? I'm right here, man. Be right back. Let me get some clamps. That'll take a while. Alright, first piece is up after a lot of struggle. But I finally got her. But not without a heck of a lot of damage. The good thing is, though, I got more paint. I shouldn't have painted, I guess, till I had the room. Till I had, you know, I almost had to paint first. Uh, but I'm trying to use minimal amount of screws right now because when I put up the wood across there, those are coming out, and I'm going to drill holes right there where you see at the rafters, and regular screws will go in. You will not see any screws in this metal, unlike what I did in the kitchen. If I could do that over, I would. But you only need them to hold them in place and then what i'll do is when i go to put the wood on some of these can stay but i'll drill holes like i said and there'll be minimal amount of screws in the trim will go across that way and then some short pieces that way all the short pieces will correspond with these rafters so i'm always hitting some wood so if it's bagging in a little a few places that's fine because when all that's on it's going to be pulled up i'll show you in the kitchen here like I said, if I could have done this over, I wouldn't have had these screws exposed like that. I wouldn't have had them in there at all. And later on when I was doing this, I discovered that. <laughs> but you see the idea. I will have boards going across, even with the uh, rafters, and they will screw into that. You can see I have wood screws in there, and that works out just fine. Uh, yeah. All right, man. What a struggle. If you're gonna do this it helps to have an extra hand i don't have that so i gotta figure it out ah. and that can all be painted heck most of that's gonna be covered with trim but i'm gonna go ahead and touch it up now that was the hardest one i had that little tight spot so this one shouldn't have all the scraping but i still gotta cut them tight enough you know to where and i'm not and i'm not insulating up there there that stuff's good enough up there I decided because look how difficult it would be to get a piece in there really ain't gonna need it when I got a roof on it so it's fine I mean it really wasn't that bad in the first place I had that one draft and I filled that up with that spray foam and I haven't felt any cold air coming out of here so we rarely get those really cold days so I'm not gonna worry about it now all right let me get this one cut that's gonna require a notch and then we're gonna have to be extra careful screwing it in up there but i should be all protected but i'll still be careful all right all right before i go any further i had to uh turn off the power and disconnect that light fixture so i've got them capped i'm going to get a metal box because i'm putting up a ceiling fan that'll be a lot stronger i'm gonna get a i've got one somewhere around here i'm gonna get that home that way it's in place and i can mark around it and make my cutout on the metal all right all right i got a new metal box installed uh that ain't going nowhere that's strong put it on that two by four going across the rafters all right let's get back cutting some metal i couldn't go any further because they're 20 I don't know, 26 inches and it would have just got to that so now i can go put the second piece on i gotta take some precise measurements because uh we got a couple of cuts on this one okay okay Got them all marked out. Only, only one special cut on this one. You got to pay attention to whether this is the piece you already put up is facing downward or upward. And do that accordingly. I'll show you. y'all are in my way again get on out of there
clap it up. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. It's just a struggle. It's always a struggle. All right, guys. Yeah, this is a struggle. It is a struggle. Now, what I've done, I've laid a two by four against the wall there. I am marring this up bad. So hopefully that's just gonna hold it up there far enough where I can get a couple screws in up here and make sure I got, got one or two in my pocket. Heck, I dropped about 10 of them earlier. Oh, there's one. All right, let me go on up the ladder. All right, we're gonna start right here I'm gonna try to rest it on top of that two by four I hope you'll see it get it about approximate you need this end to keep from sliding down when I lift this one I'm not worried about the paint I can always retouch that up all right let's lift this one up slowly see that prevented that from falling up here. All right, then we need to overlap one. This is the hard part, holding it while you, while you get the daggum thing started. And I know there's something on the screw right there, and that's where we need it. All right. Just need to get this one screw in. Then I can jump over to that side. Like I've said before, you live alone, you gotta figure it out. You know, you can't be calling people every two minutes. Hey! I need some help. But you can't do it all the time. You just can't. All right, now we know. I don't want to put that one in yet. I want to make sure this is the right spot on the lip there. So, that ladder is worthless. This little step stool I have, way better. Now, this is, this is working. Like I said, I am not worrying about this paint. It's already messed up. Right there is where we need it. Got enough of this ledger board here to put a screw in. And the nice thing about this, you know you're square because you're you land in the same spot. Alright. And again, I'm trying to do minimal screws because the wood's gonna do that job. But we can put a few in it here at the end. Well, that's a good idea, Mike. The two by four. Yeah, I like it. And that all the slack and that will pull out. Just got to make sure it's it's straight. And you want to make sure you don't put any screws in this channel because you're overlapping an inch on this stuff. So you want to go one back. Ah, that ain't no good. Gotta pull the slack out of it. Gotta pull up further. A lot of people didn't like my red. I like my red, man. I know. You know, not everybody has the same taste, but the one thing I keep hearing that gets me is it makes the room look smaller. White makes it look bigger. Well, it's still the same size. You know, it's still the same size. So if it's still going to remain the same size, why not paint it a nice color? That's what I'm saying. But I understand some people just don't like colors. Or, you know, and it is a uh, bold color, I'd say. Come on, yo! Yeah, it's, uh... Well, when you see, you gotta wait till I'm done. It ain't gonna look so loud after that. Wow, help that the drill was going the right way. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? 
All right. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, I gotta get back down there. Pack another one on. That's where all my mumbo jumbo electrical is. So I'm gonna come out on the outside here. Mumbo jumbo. A little pinky. Right there, I'm safe. It's really got some stress on it now. Get a screw. Alright, the boards will straighten a lot of this out. What I do with a bag of screws? Man, I tell you, I am the most disorganized person I ever knew. There it is. These are some pretty dull screws, actually. What I usually do is give them a punch. And then a little bit of, but when the trim's on, and actually that's coming all the way to the wall. We just got that little bit of gap. The trim's gonna cover all that. Uh, yeah. All right, next one. Next one's got the light fixture. Ooh, boy, I gotta get a couple up in there. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, I'm gonna find the screws and tack this one up and get some measurements. All right, guys, let's see if this one goes a little smoother. Now it's been a long time since I put this stuff up and I do remember now you've got to you can't put screws on one end and come to the other end and put it in because you'll have a bow in the middle. I'd take that down a couple times. What you got to do is go across the edge and let it hang and then pull the slack out that way. So I'm going to attempt to get this up there without a too much of a ruckus. I got my two by four up there. Got a power line right there. I gotta watch out for. Uh, let's get her in place. That's about where I need her. All right. This is a piece that has the special cut. Yeah, this is gonna be. All right. Let me see. Let me, let me get my little stool ready. Cut it some more in here. I think I got it too short. Yeah, I didn't go back. I didn't go back enough for the overhang. All right, I'll be back. Oh my walls! What a disaster with that! Woo! All right, let me go nip them off. Now right, let's try this again. Let me make sure I got the right end where it needs to be. Oh, yep. It has to go upward. Okay. Just showing you guys the reality sometimes of this difficulties. I'm gonna try to finish this today. You got to keep in mind I had to go run and get the stuff. That ate up a few hours of my day. Okay, this end needs to be down. What I did wrong is I, I cut the right amount for the box, but I didn't allow the half inch uh, overhang, where it overhangs onto the next piece. 
you got to keep that stuff in mind all right now i think i flipped it the right way let's get that up resting on there get this right step up oh my god Ooh. And you got to make that noise. All right, we're perfect. We are perfect. Almost. Ugh. Oh, it's just a... Hang on. There we go. That spot that seems to be hanging up on. There we have it. All right, so I know there's a, I got a peek at this. Sure ain't gonna hit no electrical lines. Okay, right there where my finger is, where a screw needs to go. Cause that live, that wire is live. Oh, I didn't put the right bit on. Oh. I could kick myself in the butt sometimes. Do you think I'm gonna get lucky and that ain't gonna fall? I think so. Shh. Shh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where's the bit? said and why did that piece go easy hey man I gotta say that looks good right there so what I was saying is now I'm gonna just put a few along the back then we'll work my way up you ground uh, you know I'm only gonna put three and uh, then I'm going to feed the dogs and then get right back to it because I only got two more sheets to put on. That's right. And then we'll be done with that part. And I'll show you when I get this done. Millie, get back. You quit doing that. We're having feeding time. I got to stay out here and babysit Miss Millie. She likes to run around everybody's bowls and eat all the meat out. Yeah. And just leave all the dry. Poor Tilly. We got that one eating, that one eating. The two are eating over there, and we got that one eating. Uh, I just got over having to babysit when I was feeding, and then you show up. Yeah, I used to have to babysit with when Wally was alive, because he was a food hog. Usually that happens when they are the runt or the oldest in the litter. If they're the runt, they don't get enough food when they're a puppy. And so they learn how to fight for it. I got a feeling she wasn't the runt. No, what are you doing? You're pulling the same business. She's in there eating. You're going to come get in her bowl. They these two play musical bowls. You're not done. You're sitting there yelling at me to bring it out. Because I wasn't bringing it out for you fast enough. <sighs> And then we got Miss Rooster. She's already ate her chicken. Now she's eating her beef. Cuts and beef with gravy. Or is it cuts and gravy with beef? Yeah. And she also has a bowl of dry food. But when they all eat their dry, she gets the wet. She likes her chicken dinners. I found some more today. They don't always have them at Walmart, but when they do, I buy them up. She's already ate that. And you don't just feed these dogs. These guys expect dessert. Rooster gets a bacon treat. The rest of them all get milk bones. You can see they expect them. You want your milk bone? Wow, well, I'll never I hope I got that on camera. What a shot. Landed right in your bowl. Here's the popcorn twins. Doing the popcorn dance. There's your milk bone. Oh, oh. 
you don't get a milk bone. You don't eat milk bones in the afternoon, only in the morning. All right, I'm gonna go give one to Lily. You already got one, you milk bone hog. You already got one. Yeah, she ain't afraid of the camera no more, is she? Remember when you first came here? How get back first? Remember how scared you was? You ain't scared no more. Stay back. So Libby will tear her up. She comes over there. Are you expecting your dessert? Huh? Guess what we're gonna do? Real soon, I'm gonna put you in the truck and we're gonna find a park and I'm gonna walk the heck out of you. We're gonna start doing that. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Take her to the lake or something. This girl needs more fun. She gets kind of left out. All right, guys, I imagine this video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna put these last two pieces up and uh, here's what we got. Here's how that one come out. Now, like I said, there'll be wood in, in place of where those screws, you, but I gotta have the screws up to hold it in place. And uh, yeah, the walls have taken a beating. But that's all right, I got more paint, a little touch up. It, it, it actually needed a little more anyway in some spots, but it can't be helped. And uh, so I got one, two more pieces. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I am not going all the way that way. You can see all that I'd have to cut around. Uh, you'll see what I'm going to do with this, but for the now, some of this electrical, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change some of this around. So I don't want to cover this up yet, but I am going to come back, uh, overhang past this. You'll see. And uh, I have a plan for blocking this in. You won't see that today, but believe me, I have a plan. It's going to look awesome. So... Let me get these last two pieces. Shouldn't be any special cuts. Maybe just right there in that corner. And we'll get these on. And I'll come back when I got these hung. All right, guys. We got her all done. And it don't look pretty now, but it will. Because, you know, it's getting them 4-inch boards to cover all these bolts. And I'm going to tell you, when you're working alone, you just stick them where you can. Because... You're holding it up and you and you and you got to use a little force to get these screws in i like to give them a good bop but if you only got one hand so there's like 800 screws everywhere that i dropped i had a big old pocket full of them and as you see the walls took a beating but we'll fix that and i ain't gonna mess with that until the ceiling's completely done probably uh we're gonna finish this up in the next few days so that's what we got let me step back, back here see if you can get a and all right let me show you let me just tell you what i'm going to do here all right i went back uh, a foot and a half or so i'm not doing anything in there because i don't this thing is eventually going to go out it could go out at any time but it may last another five ten years who knows i want to leave them open because i'm thinking of replacing this pretty soon i just don't have I don't have the money to do that right now. So as long as it's working, why well, mess with it? It's fine there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna frame out, I don't know what you call it, a little facade or whatever, probably down to here, whatever. I bought a black shower curtain and that metal will be right here. So it'll be framed out real nice with the with the trim. I'm, I'm trimming it in black. All right, I done said. It's, this is all gonna be trimmed out in black. So I bought a black shower curtain, a nice, uh, cloth one and so I'm gonna have that roofing stuff or the metal right there framed out and then the, the rod will go there and then the curtain okay I can shove crap back in the corner where I had it so that's what I'm gonna do with that this will look really nice trimmed in black uh, the door I don't know I don't know guys would it just paint it black or what should I go with I don't really know it would it ain't gonna stay white that just ain't i don't know it has to be painted so put in the comments what do you think i should paint the door what i should do with the door should it be some kind of a wild little paint job who knows black and white like the hobbits have i don't know put her in the comments all right so overall we were only a half inch out of square by the time you get to the last piece that's what i dread but it was only a half inch out so I got that that little tool I have to cut this metal is it makes this job so easy. All right, so yeah, there's a few bangs and bruises. 
Guys, I, I show you the way it is. And there are mistakes in almost every project. Unless you do things every day for a living, you're not an expert at plumbing. You're not an expert at electrical. There are mistakes. There's a lot of channels out there that only film when it's done or they film, they don't show that they screwed a piece up cutting. You know, I will. <laughs> I mean, you've seen me do it a lot. But the end result, you know, is I don't sugarcoat nothing. There, there ain't nobody on earth that's gonna do something perfect the first time unless they do that every day for a living. And I, I don't, I just show it all. So I hope y'all appreciate that, that I show it all. If you'd rather me just show it the finished product, let me know. But it's getting dark in here, so, and uh, that come out pretty good. Of course, you know, that's going to have the ceiling fan deal around it, so you won't see that. That's going to get hooked up here pretty quick because uh, I don't have a light in here. But I think it's going to look really cool. Just picture the four-inch piece, trim pieces across there, and then frame also framing in this roof. It's all going to come together. Uh, don't judge till you see their end result and if you don't like it then well that's your taste not mine because my tastes are done this way all right guys i know it's probably been a long video but i had to get everything on it uh i appreciate you coming along happy trails